Well, some of the uh, uh, more school zone driving uh, areas that we find, it's uh, coming up to certain intersections uh, prior to the school, but just the drivers themselves being aggressive in their approach. They're coming in at twice the speed limit in some areas, whether it's 30, 40 kilometer zone, and they're coming in at 60 to 80. And then when you do get to these intersections, uh, just within a block of the school, they're failing to stop at these uh, uh, usually controlled stop sign, and they're making the right turns or left turn, uh, total disregard for who might be on there, and it's usually children and other parents crossing the road at those points or getting off the school bus uh, just trying to get into the school. And their parents are the ones who are walking mid-street, they don't bother with the sidewalks. They are the ones who are on the cell phones crossing the streets. Is there something that we can do to get the parents to get educated more so than the kids? Um, and the worst thing is, you know, when people say, I don't know, they don't have to take responsibility, and they look at the, the borderline, what's school property to this, what's my responsibility? It does take a lot uh, of interaction between the parents. Uh, and it's not, it doesn't take that long. We have no problem getting involved. But I also think there needs to be some structural stuff around the environment that fixes some of the mistakes. Because parents and kids are not 100% foolproof. I know I shouldn't be crossing here, but they do it by accident. A kid gets bumped, they're running around, whatever. So we do need to look at things in the environment that will make things safer for kids. What uh, we're recommending is that people do go speak to the principal, talk to the school boards, and basically get a conversation going, even with a parent's council, about what can be done in terms of bringing in a kiss and ride and making changes around the school uh, properties. And we've literally had officers standing in the middle of the road with their hand up having to jump out of the way because the person's still looking at the kid going to school wow. while they're texting. So it's, it's to that point that uh, the enforcement, uh, we have limited resources as the enforcement part, so we rely on a lot of the parents in the area, people in the area to identify what's happening, uh, what type of behavior at specific times, and we can get out there when we do. And as a parent, what I believe we need to do is start getting out there, talking about it, using social media, and also just going to the schools. I think that was a really good point, that sometimes just asking the schools to do something, they'll take this on. And also that responsibility, that stat that keeps going on the screen, about 74% of parents have noticed that other parents are texting and you know have bad driving habits in the school zone. I think we need to tell on them too. I think it's our responsibility to make sure our zone is, is uh, safe for, for our kids and, and for other ones too. We need to fix the environment around the kids as well as well as educating them and their parents and the schools. Uh, so our attitudes have to change. Aggressive driving hasn't stopped. You know, now with wireless technology, it's the number one cause of uh, driver inattention right now.